Like Prince of Persia with the Sands of Time, we're back with another episode. This is the Pod Boys Advanced Podcast. It's a weekly discussion where we go over the latest in gaming and throw in a little bit of whatever else we want to talk about. My name is Oscar. I'm joined, as always, by my co-host and best friend. Eric, of course. Unless. 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 Unless this is. This is Erky Snipes talking to you. Day Walker. From... <laughs> I, 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 have some, I, I have some questions for you, Day Walker. <laughs> Do you now? Do yeah, you? in regards to your bloodlust and your return to the Carnivore <laughs> Kingdom. Uh, yes, yeah, that is correct. So is that a result of the change or like what, what's good with that, man? Like you're posting up steak. As far as I knew, guys, before before any of this this daywalker nonsense happened, my boy was a, was a vegetarian since since we were like eighteen or something. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, dude. I so I actually had to bulk up a couple years ago, or like three three years ago, mm-hmm. like for real. Like I had like doctor said i had to bulk up oh, damn. <laughs> and so i was like oh dude but i can't eat meat and he was like oh well like how long has it been since you haven't eaten anything like that and i was like oh it's been years and he was just like why don't you give it a try and then he's like all right and then so it was like but so what i did it was like i actually had to work my way up to me like eased into it yeah so like what i, I started with like uh with fish so I would eat, I would eat like fish every now and then. Mm, okay. And I'm not a big fan of fish. Nah, I was gonna say no, thank you. That's a bad way to ease into anything. So, <laughs> but like I was eating like uh like you know like easy fish like tilapia and like. But I love sushi right? and poke. It's such a conundrum. Anyway, that's a whole other. Continue. <laughs> so. I went from that. Then I went to chicken. And then slowly started eating more chicken. And then eventually, man, I worked my way up to steak. And I can eat steak now without the repercussions. Dude, so you can, like, go have yourself, like, a nice hearty burger if you wanted? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Dude. I haven't gone, you know, I haven't gone back yet. Um, And then I was thinking of going back, but then the pandemic. Uh Slater's. I haven't gone actually. Dude, actually I haven't never been, actually had a Slater's been, burger. I haven't been in a in a in a couple in a while either. Uh, they changed the menu up at some point, and it got it got weird. But it's still it's still there somewhat, and in, in, it's still in there somewhere. So right. it's still it's still worth going. But I haven't been to Slater's fifty fifty in a while, man. But yeah, man, that's pretty dope. I always like sometimes I wake up in a cold sweat and like. <laughs> and like I, I, I remember that time that we uh when you when you had like first like I don't know, I think it was a couple years into you being vegetarian, we like forced this horrible bet on you that you lost that you had to eat a burger and we forced you to eat a burger at from like Ted's or something here in Adelaide. And then it made me feel and really it terrible. You, <laughs> and it made you really, really <laughs> sick and I was I, I felt so like I feel like such an asshole about that sometimes. Uh, hey man, it's all right. Uh, no sweat, I'm man. So don't don't sweat. It's all good. It's all good. But you, anyway, you can force man. me to a burger now, dude. I'll yeah, 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 I'll yeah, gladly yeah. eat it. Let's, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go back to Slater's as soon as we can. As soon yeah, as for all sure. This settles down out there. But yeah, man. Uh, like I said last week, uh, we're gonna try and uh, crack open a beer every week before we start that before we start the discussion in full. So. This week, I'm drinking a Cali Squeeze Blood Orange Hefeweizen. Let me uh, get that up on there. Ooh, look at that. Look Ooh, at that. Look, look at, at that. that. Nice HD can. They need a... Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, crack this bad boy open. So, Blood Orange. This one actually is an Erky Boy recommendation. This yeah, one is I, that, Erky I, Boy approved. I had one of those yesterday. Ooh, it smells... That's pretty good. It's really good, man. Really good. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, it's one. It's one of my favorites. Doesn't even have like any sort of like aftertaste. It just tastes like a like a soda almost. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So, anyways, what I'm drinking. Really good. I'm drinking. Oh, you can't really see it. 
too well. I don't have like HD Superman camera, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm drinking a uh, Kizakura Kyoto White Yuzu. That sounds fucking intense and it's, Japanese and amazing. It's I've had this before and it's really good. I I went to a uh, Tokyo Central earlier earlier today. Uh, we oh, went, nice, 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 nice. We went and we grabbed some uh, some some meats and uh, what else? We got some veggies, some meats, and uh, some like Japanese seasonings and stuff. Thank. Yeah, so my girlfriend is half Japanese, so she she can cook like these like little Japanese dinners sometimes, and it's really good. <laughs> okay, just flex on everyone real quick. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> But yeah, man. So oh, crack that. She was cra- born that way, man. Yeah. <laughs> crack that. Crack that bad boy open. Wait, what style of beer is that? It is a uh, white yuzu ale brewed with spice. Mm. Mm. Interesting. What is it like? Can you describe the flavor at all somehow? Um, it's technically like a malt malt beverage, like a malt beer. Okay. So if you've ever had like any kind of malt beer, malt kinda, liquor, yeah, malt liquor is kind of mm-hmm. like that, but it's like, uh, it's got like more of a bold taste, I would say. And it's also kind of oh. like, it's all, it's like slightly sweet. Hmm. Okay. It's just like this, like little, like lemon looking, like fruit kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I, it's, I, I don't know, dude, that yuzu stuff's pretty good. Awesome. No. Well, that's that's pretty interesting, man. But anyway, let's get let's get into into the game and stuff here, man. You had a chance to play any games this week? How you been, man? How you been this week? Fuck, man. I've been working a lot, but uh, good news though. I, I I actually get tomorrow off. Ooh, there you go. I got a sat- first Saturday off in like a month. That's what's up, man. Um, so, so... yesterday off uh, when this comes out. No, oh, cool, cool. So, uh, let's see. What have I been playing? Uh, I've been playing a little bit of Smash Bros. Oh, okay. Playing sick. Smash Bros. Playing playing uh, the dreaded Fortnite with my niece. Oh, still every now you, and then. Still got you roped into that. Yeah. And uh, the other thing I've been doing is I've been slowly grinding down that Destiny armor grind, dude. Yeah, I, I, you weren't you weren't there when I was I, I was calling you out on stream. Oh yeah, day. I was just like that, like that. It's 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 so hard to pry your cold dead hands from that game. It's all that's that's all you ever sink your time into nowadays. It's it's like the that most armor. grindy. It's that armor. It's the grindiest thing. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just the grind, dude. Eric. I didn't want to have to do this, but I brought all of our friends here, and we all need to have a talk. This isn't about the game. He's a daywalker. Get him. Get him. Oh, shit. Uh, But I played that, and uh, I played a little bit of Fall Guys for a minute. Nice. Again. I've been having fun with that game, dude. It's, 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 It's fun. Have you won at all? Yeah, I did. I I did. Nice. I, I think I mentioned it last week. Oh, okay. You you did get a crown last week. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I've been playing that, and um, so um, Sunday I'll be playing, or at the time this podcast releases, it always trips me out. Um, yeah, man, got to time travel with the with with the cast. Yeah. So I guess later today I'll be playing Persona Five again. I'm gonna try to make it like a a weekly Sunday thing. Nice, that's what's up. Yeah, so it's gonna be like Persona Sundays. <laughs> Persona Sundays, I like it. So uh, yeah, I've been doing that pretty much, and that's all I've been really playing, dude. Oh, I did. Uh, I did actually restart. Uh, what is it? Fire Emblem. Oh, nice, 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 um, nice, nice. I'm in the right. I'm in the right game mode now, the classic game mode that I wanted to be in. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, man. I'll 
trying to keep you updated on Black Eagles. Oh. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. As for me, I have pretty much the same as last week. I'm still uh still playing some Horizon. I streamed it Monday and Tuesday, and then um uh Persona 4 as well. I've I've been streaming that too. Um but yeah, dude, uh Horizon it's a pretty good fucking game, man. I like, I'm still I'm still having fun with it. Like I actually uh I ended the, this, the last stream by uh, clearing my first cauldron. So I'm, I'm sure you know what, what, what that is. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah so, you, need uh, to get the, you need to go to every single cauldron, man. No, yeah, I know. Because I, I, need a, I need to hack these fools. I, I, I can't be running around here not being able to hack fools. Yeah, so I, need to, I need to hack these dinos. I need to. I need to hack these boys, Eric. Um, I I haven't been able to find any other any more of the long necks, which is weird. I figured they'd be all over. Um, it's a big ass fucking map, bro. Uh, probably, yeah. And no, like, like, like you, you, if you look at your map. You should be able to like see the span of it. Yeah, the, I'm I'm pretty terrified because I think I've sunk at least 10, 12 hours in it um on stream and everything. And like I just spent like a whole about, about my whole like 3 hour stream last time doing like a chunk of like 3 4 errands or whatever uh in one like pretty localized area and that took a like how much content is in this? Like, how much crap is, <laughs> like, oh my god! Did, did you honestly? Did you hundred percent this? Uh, no, I'm, cl- uh, I'm close. I think, I, I'm not a hundred percent done with it, but I'm close. And I beat the game. I beat the DLC, but I have not done all like the um hunting ground stuff. I haven't mm-hmm. done that yet. Um. What else? Uh, I think a few of the collectibles. I think there's a bunch of campfires I haven't even lit yet. This Damn, game is man. huge, man. It's huge. It's, yeah, so it's like on. It is on some Breath of the Wild shit. Like Breath of the Wild, I can like. I've I've put a hundred a hundred hours into two separate save files, damn near about, and I can still find new stuff in that game, which is crazy. So yeah, definitely it's, on that scope. It's a very huge game, but having fun with it, I assume. Dude, yeah, it's it's really fun. Uh, the stream's really liking it. Like everyone's dope. I just need to. I just need to like. I need to look into like what weapons and armor are good to actually like spend money on because there's a lot of options and it gets confusing. You know what I mean? But I definitely need to freaking upgrade my weapons because some of these you dudes want- are some of these dudes are starting to to get tough like those red eye watchers they don't go down man what you need to do um you you're gonna need to progress in the story mm. and you'll you'll unlock because it's like uh it's like most rpgs where like if you're not progressing in the story you're only going to be able to buy a certain like up to a certain so, so point. So I gotta, I gotta get to the next vendor, basically, who has the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you haven't even gotten to the city yet, have you? I don't believe so. No. Yeah, no, dude. I'm on my way to Meridian right now. Is that the city? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'm on my way there now. But I, I again, I, I have, to, I, I, it's compulsive, man. If I get a fucking side quest, I have to go do it. I, you're gonna have to just plow through the main story yeah, that dude. game gets tough because like i forget that like i'm I'm like laser focused on getting to objectives sometimes and i forget that you can't just like openly sprint throughout the whole world because then you randomly like set off creatures and then you're getting chased and it's a whole ordeal <laughs> yep so definitely definitely gotta uh, get used to like sneaking around a little more in the overworld but yeah other than that persona 4 again it gets better and better every every week. Uh, I, that game is that game is so good. I think I still got a good like twenty ish hours left before I finish the main story. But it's getting crazy, getting wild. Uh, a lot of a lot of lot of hilarious moments in the stream with the chat and everything, and with all the social link interactions, all the all the all the love interests and everything in that game. It's pretty hilarious, man. So been having a blast playing that but other than that yeah that's pretty much been my week man um 
<clears throat> Paper Mario, guys, has officially been temporarily dropped. I dropped it. I was just like, mm. Is that so? Mm -hmm. The battle system got annoying. I got put uh... off. I couldn't. I couldn't. It, it was rest it, in it, peace. It, it pains my heart. I'll, I'll I'll pick it up eventually and finish it eventually. But as of right now, I I let my girlfriend borrow it because I was dropping it. Rest in peace, Paper Mario. Yep. But I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe maybe I'll get bored and I'll go back to it eventually. But we'll we'll see. But all right, we can start moving into some of these topics and stuff like that. We can move through some of these a little quicker because there is a lot of stuff that it's jam packed. It's a lot of little stuff, but it adds up. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, uh, Prince of Persia remasters were uh, posted by a couple of retailers. Um, so the only thing, I mean, it's pretty cool, but what's not clear is is which Prince of Persia's it's gonna be, like mm. the original 1989, like one that was on the Super Nintendo and stuff like that, even eventually. But um, or but most likely it's gonna be you know the one we all we all want it to be, which is the 2003 like Sands Prince of Persia time. Sands of Time trilogy and stuff like that, Warrior Within and all those. Cause it's the whole like uh, I think it's a whole collection probably it's this releasing, mm -hmm. um and this one's pretty it's got some legs under it um sometimes these like uh, retail listings don't mean anything but uh, Jason Schreier which was he was a he was a journalist for Kotaku for a long time he left there recently and joined Bloomberg but he still uh reports on video game news and stuff and he's pretty credible knows he knows his shit basically. He tweeted out, uh, he retweeted the art, an article about it and said, video game retailers sure love leaking Ubisoft surprise announcements. So, pretty sure that kind of cemented in stone. But, yeah, man. Um, either way, I mean, uh, uh, no, I'm not going to lie. I, if, if it's the original Prince of Persia, I'm probably out. Like the original, like, 2D one? Yeah. I probably won't cop. Yeah. Like it's cool. Yeah. It's not like no knock on it, but it's just like eh, not it's not your not, cup of tea. Not it's not that it's not my cup of tea, but it's not what I want to be playing right now, you know what I mean? So makes but sense. I'd I'd play the hell out of uh out of sense of time and all those again though, so hopefully we get those pretty soon. What do you think, man? You like Prince of Persia? You you'd be you'd, you'd be you'd be in for a remaster? Um, I like the either or. What do you? What, yeah, let me, let us know. I like the uh, the what's it called the uh, the Sands of Time one. Yeah. So that's I I guess the the first like three three D one that they did. Mm -hmm. I had it on a PS two. Mm, nice. I had it on GameCube. Dude, GameCube. That one was really fun. Go. GameCube, yes. That was I fun. said GameCube. You, you didn't play the other two, uh, Two Thrones and Warrior Within? No, I didn't play those. Oh, okay. oh wait, I, I think I... There's one for the 360. Which one was that one? I think um might have both been of War, them? Warrior Within. Yeah, both, or both of them, yeah. The cover is like the guy with like daggers like on the side of him and stuff like that I yeah i played the one I, I where you were like cover. more like oh, I, I played the one where you're more like a, like shadow power kind of thing okay yeah yeah, yeah. i think that's worry within for sure okay so i played that one a little bit i didn't finish it mm -hmm. and uh but i did finish the first one yeah cool. Um, yeah they're, they're cool games I'd, I'd be willing to run through them again in a nice crisp hd remaster yeah yeah i'm on your side though i didn't i wasn't a big i, I don't I don't know if I'll do 2D. Like, it's like kind of a it's a cool game to have. Like, if you're just like hanging out, walking around with like your Switch, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like I I see what you're saying, but eh. I mean, at that point, you can like boot up like any of like the old uh, any of the, like the online games. You know what I mean? The, the the online NES games. I feel like there's plenty of retro options on there that you don't gotta go out and pay for a collection for. You know? What I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I agree for sure. But yeah, I'm uh, moving on from there. Uh, they, they, uh, people were, uh, hackers were data mining the, 
the files for the Tony Hawk demo that released uh, either whether you pre-ordered it or whether you got that ridiculous Tony Hawk burrito that you needed to get from Chipotle in order to get uh, access to the demo. You, you didn't hear about that? Tony? What? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Tony Hawk teamed up with Chipotle, and uh, they he created the Tony Hawk Burrito, and the first two thousand people that stopped by to get it gained uh, gained free access gained access to the warehouse demo that released. For, You're like, shitting me, right? No, absolutely not, man. <laughs> Is this a real not, thing? It's a real thing. I don't go near Chipotle with a forty foot pole because it's I'm tra- bad. <laughs> I'm trained in food safety, and um. Yeah, let's just keep it at that. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I obviously didn't go anywhere near this Tony Hawk burrito. burrito but um, was it in the shape of a skateboard? I would hope so. <laughs> like why? With limes as we out know. of all things, you could have like done some kind of like cool partnership with like. Hey man, don't question Tony. He'll come here and he'll break your kneecaps with a skateboard. I see him do it. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, Mr. Hawk. Please, 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 please. <laughs> no, but yeah. Anyway, you. anyway, it was data mined. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was data mined, and uh, people found uh, images uh, in the files for uh, for the Switch Joy-Con grip controller, with like mm-hmm. the control scheme laid out, and also for uh, just a straight up Switch in handheld mode mm. with the control layout. So does it turn it? it the- does it turn your Switch into a skateboard? Only on Tuesdays. Okay. But, That's um, enough. That's good. Yeah. But, yeah, man. So, it looks like uh, it's eventually coming out for Switch. Probably not alongside... Well, definitely not alongside the others cause next month. So, uh, which means we're going to... Uh, uh, they got me. I'm a sucker. I'm going to double dip. I'm going to buy it next month for Xbox. And I'm going to buy it for Switch when it comes out, too. Because I need that fucking game. I love Tony Hawk with all my heart. I feel you. I'm gonna buy it when it comes out too. I, uh, it's too good. I know. I need. And if it, I, I really hope it's. I really, really hope that it's it's like stays true to Tony Hawk. You know what I, I mean? Like I need, OG. That, I need that collector's edition to come back in stock, man. Oh, the one with the skateboard, right? The one with the deck, the, deck. Yeah, the birdhouse deck. But yeah, man. Uh, Tony Hawk for Switch. They got me. I'm a sucker. I'm going to double dip on that one. Uh, Nintendo Direct rumors are still running rampant. Um, There had been a rumor uh, that someone put out that there was going to be an Indie World followed by a Nintendo Direct the next week. And the Indie World happened. So, you know, there's a bit of a possibility, I guess, if if, if there was any credibility to that. But... um, yeah, man, I don't know if they're going to do do the back-to-back thing. It'd be dope if they did a main direct. We definitely <sighs> need one, but we talk about this every fucking week, it feels like. And it like, literally has been almost every week. Nintendo Direct next week. Nintendo Direct next week. Well, Nintendo, is it this well, week? Well, no, is it that? Yeah, ah, we got the two indie weeks world. from now. We got the indie world, I guess, you know. But. Okay, one out of two. Oh, actually, one out of like twenty. One out of tw- like yeah, <laughs> one out of forty-four. One out of God knows how many. If you want to count four chan, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. Yeah, we don't talk about four chan. What? Uh, can we move on? <laughs> Do I, did that just stir up all sorts of memories of middle school, Eric? A little bit. And when you first ventured on this horrible, horrible place we call the internet. A little bit, yeah, man. Terrifying. Mhm, mhm, and then tying in with the direct rumors, um, Metroid. A retailer listed Metroid Prime Four with a release date of October thirtieth, twenty twenty, and this was news. As if we didn't just talk about how they just put a fucking like ad out that they're hiring a creative director last like two weeks ago or something like that as if we didn't talk about the fact that they announced pikmin 3 deluxe for that exact same day like this isn't happening people it's like a, <laughs> i don't understand these people it's not, watch watch the day is gonna come out and it's like metro force not here yet no i'm mad <laughs> it's 1201 where's metro 
you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you. Ooh, that was a good beer. Metroid Prime 4 isn't coming anytime soon. L- earliest anyone can expect it is 2022. And if anyone tells you differently, stab them. Well, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, all right, just maybe, maybe just with well, them with words. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> uh, that's a don't stab anyone, guys. Don't thank don't you, do thank you. Yeah, Mo- moving on, <laughs> moving on. Let's get Eric's dark passenger out, out of the way here. <laughs> it's Erky Snipes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> I'm telling you, bloodlust. I told you, man. I warned you this at the beginning of this podcast. Jesus. Shit, man. Anyway, <laughs> the Switch is releasing in Brazil. Nintendo, come to Brazil. I don't know if you the if you know about the come to Brazil meme that like fans from brazil comment on every artist's video like come to brazil but yeah apparently switch wasn't out in brazil and i had no idea this was this that was a thing i didn't know why why don't they get why don't they get switch that's like the saddest it's it's a super weird market out there they still like sell like sega genesis is in store and shit out there and shit really yeah brazil's fucking weird like their market I don't know how it works, but, like, it's hard to get things, like, approved to be sold there. Kind of like China, in a way. But, like, apparently Switch hadn't released there, and it's, and it's now coming to, coming, to Sw- coming to Brazil. So, that's pretty dope but for all, all, all you Brazilians out there. Finally get a chance to get your hands on a Switch. I'm sure people were, like, fucking importing them and shit, and it was costing them an arm and a leg. Yeah, seriously, um, dude. So... That's pretty cool for people out there. I don't know exactly what the price translates to out there, if it's going to be crazy, because I know, like, conversion rates can, like, really fuck everything up for people. But, yeah, I mean, it's officially really coming to Brazil. So I think that's pretty cool. I think it's cool, too, man. Brazil, y'all deserve one. Metroid Prime 4 isn't coming. Everyone stop <laughs> saying that. Just to just to reiterate, you know, I'm just going to be popping in intermittently to remind everyone, just because, you know, in case... Because clearly people forget every week that, like, this game is so... <laughs> They're still hiring team members. Stab I don't know. Them. I mean... Snipes! <laughs> cool it. Anyway, Resident Evil 8, you want to talk about Bloodlust? Here you go, Snipes. We're talking about some Resident Evil, talking about some gory zombies and shit like that. So, uh, Resident Evil 8, um, which kind of, like, sucks for, like, for Capcom, who, like, trust these people and stuff like that, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, it, it was, like, an insider event that, like, um, I guess people posted footage of, which is really kind of shitty, but, I mean, it looks, uh, I don't know if you got a chance to take a look at it at all. But it's it looks it looks dark, man. It was like a pretty fucking dark setting. And yeah, it's going to be really terrifying. I like I said, I think we discussed it when it when, when they first showed it off at the um, PlayStation event. I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably that's probably one that I'm going to uh, definitely watch some 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 streamers play through instead of playing through myself because I'm a little bitch. Yeah, if I if I watch that, plus I'm it's gonna, first person. I'm just gonna get sick. So, well, you didn't play the last Resident Evil, huh? Nope. The, well, I played. No, I didn't play Resident Evil Seven. I did play the Resident Evil Two remake, though. But that's third person. Yeah, Fucking no, great game. the that last one, that first person one, dude. I played the first like thirty minutes of the game. Mm-hmm. I damn near shat my pants. Oh, <laughs> well then, it's fucking terrifying, bro. It's so scary, and I'm not good with. I'm a I'm a baby back 
bitch when it comes yeah. to horror shit. And you're dude. playing it with like a headset and everything. So <laughs> like, I assume, uh, uh-huh, like, yeah, no, uh-huh. no, no. So, dude, can you imagine those motherfuckers that play it in VR? No. Hell no. No, 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 no. no. That, like, no. Have you nope. ever tried? Have you ever tried VR, like VR gaming? Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I tried it for a couple seconds at my homie EJ's house, like once or twice, and uh-huh. it's crazy how immersive and how real everything looks. But it, like, if if playing games in first person makes me sick. Holy shit, man! VR is like putting me in a fucking tilt a whirl. Like I, I, <laughs> I cannot handle it. So it's too much. Um, moving on from Brazil, uh, Tales of Arise. Um, have you ever played any of the Tales games? Are you a Tales fan? No. You've never played a Tales game? Wow. No. I've been playing them since the GameCube. Uh, Tales of Symphonia was my first one. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I've never played those. Um, yeah, it's a, they're RPG. pretty good. Yeah, they're like action RPGs. So, like, you know, they're slashing and stuff involved as opposed to turn based. But cool, cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, uh, I got, I copped Tales of Vesperia last year, which is another one in the series, uh, Definitive Edition. It, it's a, it released originally on 360, but um, they remastered it and released it on everything last year. I copped that and I, 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 I haven't beat it, but I got a good long way through it. So um, definitely a good game as well. But this next one, Tales of Arise, so they always look like a more anime, cartoony, cel-shaded style. This next one, they released like a teaser trailer for it a while ago. It like takes on a whole completely new art style. It looks like fucking full-on realistic, like full 3D, like photorealistic almost kind of style with, with magic and everything involved, like always. So... It's shaping up to be some crazy ass shit, and um, it kind of disappeared for a while. But um, it was actually just rated recently. It was rated in uh, it was rated in Australia, and uh, like I've discussed before, once uh, stuff gets uh, actually like uh, rated to the ratings board in any country, it pretty much signifies that a release is coming pretty soon because they gotta like pay money to get that shit done and everything. So they're not just gonna do it for no reason, you know? Right. So um that's pretty good news uh for um for Tales fans including myself cuz I've been looking forward to that game like crazy man that game looks so fucking dope it's going to be crazy to play like a like a crazy like a like I said normally like anime style anime inspired type of game but like in a like in a photorealistic more realistic setting it's going to it's going to be pretty crazy I'm I'm ready for that Oh I see what you mean about the the artwork like the art style. Mm-hmm. This looks cool, dude. Kind of like Code Vein ish. Yeah, actually, it does kind of kind of look like Code Vein. Now that you mention it, I was watching the homie VC stream Code Vein the other day. Shout out! Oh, to him. shouts! Yeah, yeah. They were playing. Uh, they were playing a mod where they, uh, him and the other homie Tommy Raiku. Shout out to him too. Uh, they were playing a mod where they were playing as Sora and Cloud. <laughs> ah, that's pretty great. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But yeah, man, Tales of Arise, uh, you, like, like uh, you said, you just had a chance to look it up a little bit, so you've seen it a bit. It looks pretty dope, right? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I, would, I watched like a, a trailer from last year that came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the PS4. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks, uh, you know, kind of even similar, but maybe uh, a little more realistic even than that Genshin Impact game we saw last time at the oh, State of Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anime Breath of the Wild. Like, yeah, yeah. Slightly more realistic than that still, but like around the, the same vibe, you know, it's, it's going to have crazy powers, crazy explosions, crazy magic and stuff like that. So Yeah, I mean, if it if it looks really good, I might I might play that. Hell yeah, dude! It, it'll be my my first Tales game. I'm I, I've heard of the I've heard of the franchise, but I've never actually played any of them. Yeah, they're pretty good RPGs. Uh, they're kind of lengthy, like 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 most are, but definitely worth worth the playthrough for sure. Man, you should check it out. Um, 
Good old Skyward Sword. Uh, actually, not good old Skyward Sword. Uh, hot take. Well, probably not a hot take. A lot of people agree with me, actually. I, I, I will stand on this hill proudly. Skyward Sword, not my favorite Zelda. It's uh, the, the, Wii, the Wii game. So a lot mm. of motion controls, a lot of shoehorn motion controls and stuff like that. The like intro to the game is like super long, the tutorial section and stuff like that. But it's all good. It's it's still a good. It's a Zelda game, you know. It's pretty top quality as far as games go, anyway. So right. But yeah, it was uh, listed on Amazon UK as uh, coming to Switch HD remastered and everything. So uh, that one actually didn't get the remaster treatment. Um last gen like uh wind waker and twilight princess did so this would be a whole new remaster which would be pretty cool but um makes sense like we were talking about last um last podcast uh that uh 35th anniversary of zelda is coming up next year so makes sense they're gearing up to release a bunch of zelda stuff you know what i mean yeah it would make sense for sure i mean and uh i'd be stoked for them to release it on switch and hopefully like uh make it more accessible for just regular controls and not try and shoehorn in the motion controls as much, you know what I mean? Right. In case for like portable play and stuff like that, they'd probably make you use the gyro anyway, which which would be annoying, but Yeah, I play Twilight Princess on the Wii. Not fun. Yeah, like I said, I I, I played it on the GameCube. I, I prefer it on the GameCube for sure. I, I I played it on the Wii, I think, at my cousin's house. Like, the game itself is fun, uh, but I definitely having, it on the, on the having to, like, keep... do the motion stuff all the time, it gets kind of annoying. Yeah, I feel you. But yeah, man, Skyward Sword, if it comes, it's it, it comes. I'm ready for it. Whatever. Zelda, always down for it. Never, never, ever going to say no to more Zelda, so bring it on. Um, next we can move on to your favorite franchise of all time. Uh, Call of Duty. How dare you? Black Ops. How Cold dare you? War. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Black Ops Cold War. Seven letter name. They literally just slapped the Black Ops on there because they know it's going to sell like an extra five million copies just because it has the Black ops name on it you know what i mean like didn't they just do a black ops they need to stop <laughs> so more info's coming on the 26th but they revealed the name and everything like that um so i don't know if, if you're gonna we check talked, it out if your, talk, brother's, no. if your brother's gonna check it out elliot still plays them right we talked yeah, a little bit. We talked about this last week. It's fucking Black Ops. Like, it's gonna be just another, another. It's like, like you said last week too. It's like Madden twenty twenty one, but like, <laughs> like I'm telling you, in like, like Call of Duty, <laughs> they just slapped Black Ops on there because they know people like the Black Ops ones. Because everyone always talks crap when, because you know how like. I don't know if you know, but like how Call of Duty is on like a three year schedule usually where a different studio puts out the Call of Duties every mm-hmm. time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently this time they slapped Black Ops on there. I think Treyarch is the one who does um Black Ops. Uh, apparently they had to help the other studio with this one because they were struggling with it so badly. So uh, let's see what the fuck kind of shit show this evening turns out being if that's the case you know what i mean if they have to oh, be like no. go go help them go save this game you know what i mean this is so bad i didn't even know about that yeah hey, you didn't know that yeah dude they had to go they had to go give them a hand and help out they were struggling definitely probably not going to get it <laughs> yeah so the thing about the, the thing about the call of duty games is like they're only fun when you're playing with friends yeah, I mean, in that my can opinion, be said for a lot, that can be said for Destiny as well. You know what I mean? Like, I was like super. I fell in love with it instantly again, and then I was just like, oh, I looked around and I was just like, where is everyone? Where's my fire team, though? You know what I mean? There yeah. is a no fire team, and at that point, you can't really do much. Destiny yeah. is really, really socially dependent, and like, same with that. Like, 
Yeah, there's a campaign sometimes. I think there wasn't a campaign in the last game, which was a whole thing. No, there was. There was the uh, Modern Warfare had a big ass campaign. Okay, but the point is, like, sometimes these games release with no Black Ops. The last Black Ops had no campaign. Oh, oh like, yeah, the last Black Ops. I, I, I don't think it did. They had a campaign. They didn't have a campaign because they opted to go with the multiplayer. The uh, battle royale. I forgot whatever that shit was called. Yeah, that's right. But um, yeah. So sometimes they have a campaign, but for the most part, these are multiplayer only focused games, and like, you know, like if you don't have people to play with, if you're just like Mr. Lonely Guy playing match after match of death match, like you're gonna get you're gonna get bored of it real quick. You know what I mean? True, true, true. I mean, granted, a lot of people do play solo, and that's cool too. I play Destiny solo. Some like to do my grindy shit but it's just like it feels different with with destiny it's like i feel like you can play solo at times because there's there's always an objective to do you know like there's always like something you got you can go collect on your own or whatever no yeah and that's definitely a thing but like if you want to make any significant like progress or improvements to yourself like if you want to like complete like a weekly activity if you want to like go for the big drops and stuff like that you gotta get together with a fire team, yeah right? yeah yeah like, yeah you can go around you can complete your bounties you can uh do your little side quests for the for your uh season pass or whatever and stuff like that a little bit at a time but when it comes to the big stuff and like the actual like yeah like raids the, the actual metators of the that. game yeah of the game yeah you need to... yeah yeah for sure well, yeah, moving on from Super Call of Duty, which I'm uh, the day I call it, I, I cop a Call of Duty game, like something is very wrong. Like the world is at, 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 on its last breath at that point, and, and we all need to just try and evacuate to another planet at that point. But I, I'm not getting this. I just bring it up because I know people like it. But. Moving on from that, Demon Souls. Rated in South Korea and Japan. Which means there's a very high possibility that if it's not a launch title for the PS5, it'll be available very soon after in the launch window. Which mm-hmm. is very, very, very good for the PS5. It's very, 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 very good for the PS5. Yeah, man. So people talking about a week launch lineup and stuff like that. Sony actually, someone within Sony, I forgot who, uh, was quoted this week saying that like, uh, uh, this launch lineup is gonna be the strongest that they've ever seen at PlayStation and stuff like that. And that there's wow. still unannounced Some bold words. That there's still unannounced games for the launch lineup and stuff like that. So there you go, man. Um, Looks like uh, they're going to come out guns a-blazing, swinging hard, unlike Microsoft, who just ran out and slipped on a puddle, delayed Halo Infinite, got no launch titles. So... Oh, but you got grounded. Generation cut game set and match again. I think. uh, Yeah, but Demon Souls, dude. Um, I know you'll probably cop it and bang your head against it. I have been banging my head against Souls games for like forever. I've never completed one because it's just, they're too fucking hard. And I'm just like, why can't I be this? I know. Like, like I, the, I, you had been telling me that you've been playing Bloodborne like for like we talked I've, about it a few times. And then you let it, and then you were like, I haven't even gotten to the first bot. And I was like, what? Yeah, dude. It's, I don't. Do I? I is there an easy mode I can turn on? Like no, that was a whole ass controversy last year with Sekiro. Thought, do not do not dude. say those words. The internet will jump in here and stomp you out. Yeah, I've along, heard. along with Tony Hawk, who's still waiting outside. By the way, he knows yeah. you have to. He knows you have to come out eventually. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, but it's cool, Tony. I got burgers. Oh, that changes <laughs> things quite a bit. Yeah. Tony is Tony is quite 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 the fan of burgers i hear yeah but anyways yeah dude i'll probably bang my 
you know, it's kind of comical how bad I am at Souls games. You know me. I've we've played video games together for forever. I'm pre- yeah, and I'm I've decently, known you to be pretty good at games. I'm yes. decently good at video games. I I can I, I can you know get a handle on most games pretty quickly. But Souls games, dude, I just I don't know what it is. It's just like I I just can't. They just kick my ass. <laughs> hey man. I do not blame you. Those games are fucking tough. They're like literally built to be tough, so mm-hmm. no one can fucking blame you. But yeah, that was um, the long segment of little stuff as usual. The rumors, leaks, news that we like to go through every week. But uh, we can start getting into some of these bigger topics, man. So we can start with the indie showcase. So that's probably what's going to take the longest. And we can plow through the rest of it towards the end. But um yeah, um, I know you didn't have a chance to take a look at it live, but um, I believe we did go through the through the, through I think all the trailers mm-hmm. earlier before we started recording. So uh, we can go through these, uh, not in order of that they were shown, but the order of the website I have pulled up. Deal with it. So Raji, definitely the highlight of the show for me and for a lot of people. Already out now. Uh, speaking of Prince of Persia, which we talked about earlier, it's got like a Prince of Persia vibe and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I, that's literally the first thing that came to mind when when I saw like the gameplay for it. Yeah, this game in particular is actually super cool though, because um, it's actually uh the first uh, fully the first indie game uh, put out on Switch by a fully Indian developer out of straight out of India. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's based on their culture and their heritage. A lot of a lot of stuff went into making it. They were like super excited to, to you know, be the first uh, the first Indian studio to to be on to be involved in a Nintendo event and everything like that. So, apart from uh, being a pretty cool game, it's got a pretty cool story behind it too. You know what I mean? So, uh, I've seen a lot of positive feedback uh, uh, about it on Twitter. I haven't had the chance to check it out myself, but it definitely looks super cool. I want yeah, I, to get it. I, agree. I probably I'll probably get it eventually. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I'll get it right away. I kind of want to catch up on some of the games that I've been playing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Before I start picking up any more games, you know. Yeah, you you you've amassed quite the backlog and that Destiny armor isn't helping you. No, it's not. But I think I think just really just getting into like some kind of schedule I think will help. And honestly, dude, I would be playing a lot more Switch games, but I've been having trouble with drift on on the controller. No. It's yeah, dude, that Joy-Con, the blue Joy-Con is it's it's dead. It's like done so. Like I can't even play it. Dang, you yeah. Bring it to me. I have this this spray that helps a lot with it. It's this. I actually have it right down below me, so like just conveniently. It's a little, du- little dust off thing. You no, know, it's WD forty electrical lubricant, like specifically, like it's, no, it's electrical contact cleaner is what it is. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, it's not focusing. I right, a little closer. Uh... Put it like in front of you. There, oh, there. Yeah, there you go. There he goes. So it's the WD forty electrical contact cleaner. It's only a couple bucks, and uh, whenever mine start acting up, I just spray a little bit of that in there, and it and it and it usually makes it go away at least for a few months. So definitely might want to invest in that guy for sure, man. Yeah, I am honestly thinking I might just have to buy a whole new Joy-Con, dude. Oh, I tr- I tried I tried just about everything. So fair enough, fair I enough. haven't so, I haven't tried that, but eh, whatever. I'll just I'll just buy buy another one, you know. Buy buy a new pair. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, it's not get a big deal. Get yourself a cool new color. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, man, uh, Raji looks dope. Uh, next, uh, uh, we can talk about the Untitled Goose Game, uh, the free co-op update. Um, hi, hi, listeners. This is this was actually Eric's first introduction to the Untitled Goose game. Though it was a huge meme last year and everything like that, um, Erky has never heard about it. So this was the first he had heard of this horrible goose and his and his crazy antics. 
But, dude, you need to check out Untitled Goose Game ASAP, or at least look I... into, like, the regular game so you can see what it's about. But literally, you just, like, the, like, you just walk around, you steal people's keys, you, like, take a farmer's tools and throw them in the lake, make them get all wet. I you're, like, love You go honk in a sleeping baby's face so to wake their baby up, like... All kinds of just crazy, horrible, horrible shenanigans. Just, you just ruin people's days as a goose. <laughs> it's like amazing. And now, and now, we can do it together as horrible goose friends. I'm so down. I had I don't know how I have never heard of this game. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's out on everything too. It's not like Switch exclusive or anything. I I like I said I don't know how this fell by the wayside for me but I saw the little clip and I totally want to fuck shit up as a goose dude dude yeah you like you you would literally like crack up like you would laugh out loud at this game because I know you and your humor it just like you, you you love fuck you would love fucking with these people man you need you need a, you need to cop this goose game. I'm going not to. A, not I'm, a joke. I, I, I'm going to. Yeah, then we can talk about probably the next uh, most, the next coolest game on the list, uh, Hades. This one, though. This one is probably the one Erky Boy is going to hop into more than this anything. One. Arrives this fall. So this one, it's kind of like a isometric dungeon crawler, God of War style game. You know what I mean? It's got the same type of like mythology theme. Uh, but it is like a, like I said, a top-down isometric type of dungeon crawler, mm-hmm. but with a bunch of cool-ass combos and shit like that. Um, and like the, just like the the whole like trailer is super dope with like the that's probably what the cutscenes are gonna look like with that like dope-ass animation and everything like that. But if y'all out there want to check out the trailer, it's definitely worth it. Super, super, super cool. Like started with like a little kind of like almost like an anime type of clip. You know what I mean? Yeah. But definitely going to be a good one coming later this fall. Definitely going to be a cop for me. Probably for you, too. It, yeah, definitely, dude. We've been talking about Samurai Jack and, like, the way, like, that the artwork is kind of, like, done. It reminds me of, like, a Samurai Jack anime, you know? Mm-hmm. Speaking of Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack actually released uh, today officially, like, on everything, so... Uh, people can go play that now. It looks fucking amazing. Uh, we uh, copped ourselves the limited run games version, so that's not going to come for a couple months probably. So uh, we're yeah, going to we'll hop play. into that. We'll play one. when it gets there. Yeah, we're going to hop into that one a little late, but definitely check out Samurai Jack if you're uh, looking for looking for that. But um, yeah, let's continue plowing through these games here. A short hike. So this one. People like lost their shit when <coughs> I'm sorry, I choked on my beer earlier and like it's like got like I have like my throat's caught from it. And, like I can't make it go away. I keep coughing. Yeah, you alright, man? Mm-hmm. Just gotta like <clears throat> get rid of this cough. But a short hike, yeah. Everyone on the internet like freaked out when this one was announced because i guess it's been out on other things before uh it's like a weird like bird main character and like you have to like connect like a little island together and make a little community out of an island kind of thing i don't know it honestly doesn't look like my type of game it looks like the art style is really cool it's a it looks like a cute little game but like i don't know what do you i don't do I don't in know. it i i'm not a big fan of like do nothing games honestly yeah i hear you man and like the next one takeshi and hiroshi same kind of thing like oh, what do you do what do you do like the claymation animation style is cool looks like moral oral from adult swim <laughs> or anything robot chicken <laughs> or anything robot chicken but like yeah, man, I don't, I don't know. What do you, what do you do? I'm probably not even gonna look that way. So like, yeah, not definitely not another one that I'm gonna be checking out. Um, Card Shark. Um, that one looks like one. 
It looks coming, cool, but weird. Coming next year, yeah. So it's definitely more like it's a card game for sure. But the object, the objective of it is to cheat and not get caught. But it's pretty hilarious because when you do get caught, you get pretty, you get murdered publicly in pretty hilarious ways. With mm. what it looks like, so definitely looks fun. Um, I don't know if I'll check it out to be honest. I'm not big into card games, but um. Yeah, Card Shark. What do you think, man? Uh, it looks kind of fun. Um, I, I'm looking at the trailer again, and just because I like the I like the artwork, dude. This is another one of those games that, like, if I'm going somewhere to go wait in the line or something, then I'll probably play something like this. You know. Mm-hmm. Like, if I got yeah, my yeah. Switch on me, I just, oh, got to go wait in line at DMV or whatever. Oh, <laughs> fucking DMV. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'll just, I'll put this on. Yep, yep, yep. Next one, Subnautica. Sub not interested in water world. <laughs> yeah, pretty much same here. The whole game is a water level. Water levels are usually my least favorite part of all video games. So I do not want to subject myself to a whole game of water levels. I will pass on that. Yeah. Garden Story, another community building game. Like, I've gotten my fill of these for a lifetime probably with Animal Crossing. Uh, Even though I haven't gone back to it in months, if I were to go back, like, I got pretty invested in that. So, like, and that's a game that's going to keep keep giving for years if I decide to keep playing it. So I don't need to, I don't need to rope myself into another one of these community building games. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I feel you. I think this is, this is more, I don't know. I think it's aiming either more for like, for like people who like that kind of cutesy looking thing. Yeah. Harvest Moon, artwork, Stardew you know? Valley yeah, stuff, yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, yeah. Um, mm-mm, not my thing. So like yeah. like we like we said we're, we're we're being Debbie Downers on this event not because we're shitting on the games they're probably good games and there's a lot of people who like them but yeah like I said the ones that we were interested we talked about at the top of the list here so the rest of them are in our eyes me yeah like Evergate Evergate looks cool the art style looks cool and stuff like that but it's like a puzzle platformer and. Those get on my nerves a lot of the times, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I like myself a good platformer, but same Not thing when that happened. Same thing that happened with Paper Mario. Even Paper Mario, a series that I love, they threw too much puzzle in there and I was out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm not a big fan of these last two. And Manifold Garden, what the what what even? Apparently it's got like it's got like a bunch of like, like good reviews and shit. Yeah, it's but like, like a, it's just like a weird like geometric type of puzzle game. Same thing. It looks like you gotta like move cubes into place to like connect grids to power shit to open up more layers of the dun- of the garden. But everything looks like this weird like acid trippy geometric style. I don't. I don't. Ah. I don't, ah. It's like too just much watching for my that, eyes to handle. I'm colorblind. That, like. I have eye problems. Like I can't do it. Watching that trailer just kind of disoriented me. <laughs> Gave you vertigo a little bit. It was just like uh, I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm not. I'm not down for this. But yeah, I mean, overall, a cool event. Like I said, I mean, not everything is gonna be for everyone. But hey, man, three game, three four games out of all those that we liked. I mean, I call it a success of a show. You I mean I'm interested yeah. in Raji? interested in uh hades for sure uh, i feel like there's there's literally they're not literally but like there's pretty much a little bit of something for everyone's taste in yeah, a sense 100 percent. right like i said i'll probably check out card shark if i'm like you said in short bursts if i'm bored just because it looks funny you know what i mean so yeah that's the thing with indie games is that they're so that's the interesting thing about them they're so varied and like that's where new ideas get tried out, you know what I mean, is is in the indie game format. And then if one of them blows up, guess what? Everyone tries to make that type of game, you know what I mean? So 
it's definitely a good mm-hmm. medium to explore and i think it's cool for nintendo to keep doing these showcases to put the spotlight on them but yeah man pretty good show overall i want to say yeah i agree for the most part yeah yeah we can move on to uh, our favorite segment the internet is mad because the internet's always mad about something we got quite a few things to talk about here so we can start off with uh, people are mad, Sony ponies are mad, just people are like jumping on this guy because an analyst predicted that the Switch would overwhelm the PS5 in sales this holiday. Well, yeah, because there's no fucking Switches anywhere. <laughs> no, 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 backwards, dude. They're saying that the Switch is going to outsell the PS5. No, I know. I'm saying you can't get a Switch right now, so there's going to be more available yeah and that's the thing like when consoles first launch it's they're hard to get a hold of there's limited releases like somebody doesn't make that many up front to sell you know there's going to be less available it's going to be people are going to be fighting over these things you know you're not going to just be able to walk in and get them meanwhile while there's a switch shortage now i assume nintendo's been gearing up production to get big restocks in for the holiday season to, to make sure they kill it you know what i mean like exactly that's it. what i'm saying yeah so it makes complete logical sense but everyone's like super mad about it all the police are like ah oh, my ps5 my new system my spider mans how <laughs> dare you and it's just like chill out you guys it's 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 a launch of a system if systems launched and they were readily available and like you and everyone could go pick one up, then fuck yeah, it might blow everything out the water. But that's just not how it works, unfortunately. You know, it's, it's gonna yeah, be, it's gonna be a struggle Look, to get these systems. They're gonna sell out. People are gonna be scalping them online. It's gonna be a whole ass debacle, like it always is. Right. Uh, well, luckily they they've been talking about. There's been like rumors about like how I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but how they're trying or are going to like i guess limit the amount or the the yeah, the amount of consoles you can buy like as one person oh okay so so, so like catch bots catching multiple shit for multiple people type of shit yeah they're going to try to do that so i think what i think what they're going to try to do is like the only way i could see it happening is like if you use your like credit card information or whatever if you use one credit card, you can't use like a second one, or it'd be like one, one per credit card kind of deal, one maybe per ad- one per address, maybe even or one one per ad or one literally just maybe one per person. You know in what I mean? General, yeah. In general, like you can't buy more than one system under the same name. You know, and or I don't know. We'll see how the, we'll see what they do, but hopefully they do something like that because. Even even for Xbox too, you know what I mean. Like, I I feel like they need to do this some something like that because the scalping business is uh fucking booming, and people just are fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, we've discussed it before. Like I said, like 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 sneaker resellers and like clothing resellers, they've gotten savvy that they can do this with other shit too and everything you know what i mean so they're yeah, everywhere dude, even now. just e- even just like this webcam like this logitech webcam that you let me borrow like oh dude yeah 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 that's out and been being scalped yeah on quarantine i like since the quarantine started like people got wise to it fucking bought out a bunch of webcams and are selling them for like double sometimes triple the price it's ridiculous so Fuck that. Yeah, and especially because these consoles are not going to be cheap to begin with. You know what I mean? So, Mm -hmm. you know, they're going to be going for like over a grand on eBay and shit like that. So it's it's, going to get wild, man. It's going to get wild, but we'll see. But I mean, I think it makes complete logical sense for the Switch to outsell the PS5. Like not only is there going to be more, is it going to be more available to people just to just walk in and grab? It's cheaper. it's cheaper and like apart from the hardcore gamer who's looking out for launch lineups and knows what's coming like launch lineups like they're not gonna have like as many games like obviously like the switch has has been out for three going on four years now the library it's amassed over these years is fucking huge there's just not enough games at the launch to compete with the library of the switch you know what i mean it's just it just makes logical sense yeah i agree dude 
So whatever. Internet's mm. gonna be mad. Yeah, we can wrap wrap the show up with some Xbox stuff. So uh the actual specs for the Series S seem to have leaked. Uh we talked about it being confirmed as the Series S a couple of uh I think last week when the controller leaked. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, so they released uh, a little like uh, a little like spec sheet, like side by side comparison of the Series X versus S. Uh huh. Was posted on Twitter, and uh, it's quite quite the difference. So um, it's got the same uh, CPU up in there. Um, the GPU is a little better in the Series X, obviously. So it's got a lot less of RAM. So the RAM in the Series X is 16 gigs, and the Series and the Series X cuts it down to 10 gigs. Oof. Ah, uh, yeah. Oof. Uh, Oof. So uh, the Series X is targeting 4K 60 frames for all games, and mm-hmm. up to 8K gaming on certain games. Okay. And uh, Series X is going to be capped at 1440p 60 frames max. So it's not going to do full 4K or anything like that. Um, the SSD in there um, is not confirmed what size it's going to be, but it, it might be a little smaller. There's no disk drive, obviously. Um, same backwards compatibility. And... Um, Uh, unless you have no, um, this is gonna be great if you have no Xbox and you're just looking to jump in and like grab Game Pass, grab X Cloud, all that kind of stuff. It's probably gonna be cheap, probably gonna be around three hundred dollars. But like I've discussed on here, I have my One X here that already does four K. Um, so I don't know what the incentive for like someone like me would be to go drop money on this thing when I can install X Cloud on this. I have Game Pass on this. Halo's not coming. There's nothing that I can't play on here now at a higher resolution even than this middle box. So for people like me, eh, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I said, Xbox has done a horrible job of losing me this year. And it's sad, but it's it's sad but true, man. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely not buying into that ecosystem any further this year. Like I said, I'm just going to write it out on my good old One X here. Honestly, if I get if I get an Xbox this year, it's probably gonna be the one you have. <laughs> yeah, just uh, look for a cheap, cheap one. That once the new ones drop. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that like people are gonna be like, "Oh my god, I need the newest one. Sell the sold cheap one for, mm-hmm. lo- for like whatever. really cheap." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when it's gonna be like people, people, unless you're like really paying attention, like most gamers are like yeah especially because xbox themselves has come out and announced that like there's not going to be like a true exclusive for the series x until at least like two years or something down the line so everything's going to be cross-gen for the next couple years there's no point yeah there's no point like you said cop yourself a cheap one x i already have it you can play all the newest releases in a higher resolution than, than their middle option maybe at less of a frame rate, but you know, like I said, I, until they show me something worth buying, there's no point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel it, man. So that's the Series S and its uh, supposedly rumored leak specs, and we can end it off with um, Halo. Halo's been struggling. We, I mean, I don't really want to go too much into that. We've talked about that at length, but. It was just kind of confirmed that like a bunch of stuff is getting in the way of, of it. Like there's a TV show that they're working on. I think probably with, I don't know if it's with Netflix or an actual TV network, but apparently that's Halo huge... TV show. What the yep. Fuck? Halo. Yeah. Halo are they busting a Ubisoft? Yep, exactly. Uh, yeah. so that's been a huge distraction for them. The marketing versus their actual, like, I think the marketing team has been uh, kind of bragging and boasting a lot more than the engineering team can develop and that's creating tension for them so they're probably they were probably promising a lot more than they could deliver which is why everyone was so mad when they actually saw what the game looks like because it doesn't Mm. look like what they've been you know announcing as this is next gen this is this is this is it here like this is this is fucking next gen halo you know what i mean yeah it's kind of not so Definitely, definitely the worst part I would say is that 
a large majority, a large chunk of the game is outsourced to not even 343 themselves. They're outsourcing parts of the game to be made by a bunch of other different studios and kind of Frankensteining it together from that point. So this game is going to... This delay was so necessary and because this was going to release in, in such a horrible state if they pushed it out this year that it's fucking insane, man. I mean, if they would have pushed it out like this year and all the all of the uh, brutes looked like Craig the Brute. <laughs> would have been it would have been the end of Halo, dude. I I don't know what they could do it at that been point. The end of Halo, my dude. So uh, I mean, let's let's see what they do. Let's see when they decide to release it next year, and how long they take to to quote unquote polish this shit. But goddamn, man. That, it, dumpster fire if i've ever seen one you know and uh i yeah. you know we talked about it before when we were first talking about next gen stuff and i was just like dude we were both like halo halo if if halo comes out at launch we're gonna get this this new xbox because halo and now it's just like like a complete fucking 180 360 720 tony hawk pro skater up in this bitch like Microsoft, what are you doing over there? How not you, Halo. Uh, not yeah. making Halo. How how <laughs> how could you let your biggest franchise fall into like this much disarray and like chaos and uncertainty? Like I can't I can't believe that shit, man. Somebody probably talked about Metroid front uh for for too long and got stabbed. Dude, Over you, know, at Microsoft. you know, you know. Surprisingly, a lot of the the original developers for Metroid Prime from the from Retro Studios during the GameCube era are actually employees of Three Four Three now. Surprisingly, so that's that. Uh, you might not be wrong there. You know, they might be reminiscing about the good old days when they could crank out a good game. Yeah. But yeah, man, we can end it off here with uh, um, some Xbox Game Studios review scores. So it's been a uh, so interesting week for Xbox Game Studios. So they had two major releases this week. Battletoads is that, finally. Is that tape in your this hand? Is, yeah, this is this is Gaffer's tape. Yes, it's it's right here, and I keep picking it up on accident. I need to put it over there so I can stop doing that. But anyway, <laughs> so Battletoads released this week. And uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is back after a bunch of years and a bunch of controversy. And uh, the review scores could not be more more opposing. So Microsoft Flight Sim is actually one of the highest rated games of the year at this point, sitting at a 92. So because it's a huge game, you can literally fly to every air, every individual airport in the world almost like in real time and on, on real actual planes, suppose like, well, not real planes, but you know what I mean? Like well, real, real life like, models re- of real planes. Life planes recreated in game and stuff like that. You can choose your plane, take off from any airport, land in every airport. It's got like a Google maps, but esque level of detail. You can fly over your own house to that point and stuff like that. And, and like actually see what, what? shit looks like. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. And so it's the highest rated Xbox Game Studios game in a very long time. And um, it's not on Xbox. <laughs> Wait, what? It's not on Xbox. It's, it's on ex- PC, ex- isn't it? Because it's a PC, yeah. So they can't put out a quality game to save their lives all generation. Their Except this game, dude, their that's highest I, rated game of all generation in a long time is a flight simulator. I figured it out. That isn't even on their fucking flagship console. This is the reason why all their other games have been sucking because they've just poured so much time and energy on into this flight, flight sim? simulator. Yeah, all hands oh, on deck for flight shit. sim. Halo, fuck Halo. We need to fucking detail this McDonald's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Like, no tomorrow. I want to fly from LAX to to Dubai. God damn it. 
I'm just, I couldn't even finish that bit. I'm just, like, and meanwhile, Battletoads, which is out on Xbox, uh, released directly to Game Pass, Game Pass fodder. That's uh, was sitting at a 69 up until a bunch of Xbox review websites came in and saved it and pushed it up to a 72. And a uh, very polarizing game. Some people like it, but some people really fucking hate it. It looks kind of like a Flash game. Mm. Um, the combo system is weird in it, I hear. Like, it's just, it's just, it's not a good look or a good return for Battletoads. And, like, this is a lot of people's problem with Game Pass. Well, it's a great deal. It's a great value. You can play a bunch of games for cheap. A lot of people are saying that it gives Microsoft kind of the excuse to put out these mediocre titles and be like, oh, well, you can get it on Game Pass for a dollar a month, you know? Like, you don't got to pay full price. So so people are saying, like, oh, review scores don't matter. If it's a bad game, it doesn't matter. You didn't waste money on it. Now it's, now it's a matter of if it's worth your time or if it's worth your money. And it's like, no, absolutely not. Like, games still have to be fucking good like that is you that's know, a I, very I never scary even, scary precedent to set i know? never even thought about it that way about how something like game pass could kind of make developers lazy about it yeah because it's just like Either they release that we'll fix it later type of game or they just release a mediocre game that doesn't it doesn't really matter because what a lot of these because what it is is these developers get a big large chunk of money up front from Microsoft to put it on Game Pass. So they're in a way they're just like, eh, if it doesn't sell, we already got these millions from Microsoft to put it on Game Pass. Yeah. So they get complacent, they can rush stuff out, they can put out a bad game if they want, and there's no real repercussions because they get the exposure of Game Pass and they've already gotten paid out. So yeah, definitely it gives people an excuse to be lazy and put out and put out mediocre stuff. And I think we're seeing that here. I think we're seeing that with Battletoads. I think we're seeing it with a bunch of these titles. And it's just like, if people start accepting it, which they are, the Xbox community defends this to death. They're like, oh, they're, just, they're great games and blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, they're are not. They they're not good games. And people They've been spending their time on Flight Simulator on. Like, and you're like, gonna defend him <laughs> i don't know man uh i i hope that going into next generation all these fable all these games that they got cranking from these big studios i hope they deliver because they can't keep delivering this mediocre quality and expect people to like stay interested no matter how cheap the subscription model is no matter how many games you get for ten dollars a month like it's only gonna go so far and people are gonna start catching on that these games aren't worth aren't worth your fucking time even yeah so that's true (sighs) well interesting direction for the future of gaming if this game pass model ends up infiltrating quality any further but anyway that's gonna do it uh for us this week here on the podcast we're gonna be wrapping it up here uh thank you so much to everyone who had who who stayed and listened to this point thank you to everyone who supported us throughout the week on our streams and on the channel and everything like that huge shout out to my boy ace for always coming through with big donations on my live streams shout out to vc for coming through with the donations as well like we always say we're just a couple guys playing games and uh talking about games so it's crazy that we receive that level of support from you guys week in and week out. Um, shout out to everyone on the Discord. Uh, link for Links to everything is going to be down below, so you can follow us on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at Knife Life Osk. Uh, you can find uh, the YouTube channel at Knife Life Media. You can find us as a collective hive mind on the Pod Boys Advanced Twitter, as mm-hmm. well as on the Pod Boys Advanced Discord, all linked below. Uh, Erky, you can plug your Twitter and your YouTube as well. Yeah, my Twitter and YouTube are both Erky Plays. Um, I've got an Instagram now if that interests anyone. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you go. I'll put so the I'm, link down below as well. To that. I'm, I'm Erky Plays everywhere. So just find me on that. I'm, I'm like that on Twitch. I've been uh, last uh, last Sunday. I did the uh, Persona Five stream. I stream to both uh, YouTube and to Twitch. So I'll be doing that from now on. Nice, nice. Got but, the whole uh, yeah. stream thing going. Yeah, yeah, it, it it works pretty good, and 
So I'm going to keep doing that. I've been thinking about getting into that myself, to be honest. Yeah. It, w- once I figured everything out, like I, I did have a little bit of an issue where like I set everything up on one platform and then it, for whatever reason, like you, your titles need to be set on restream and I didn't do that. Mm. So like a, like the wrong title to my stream was coming up. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, but I mean, once you figure it out, it's fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'll, I'll Erky plays on Twitch and both YouTube. So yeah, just Persona Five this Sunday. So later today, and yeah, I'll, keep, I'll I'm gonna try to make a, an actual like schedule for streaming a little bit more often. So we'll get there. We'll get there. But for sure, right now Sundays from now on Persona Five Sundays. <laughs> awesome awesome man yeah huge shout out to everyone in our community make sure you check out everyone uh in our in our in our little circle here make sure you check out our homie major amicus make sure you check out uh the homie vc vcipz's check out the homie troy perry and his uh, wrestling content check out the homie uh tavio on twitter l tavio with a zero at the end he does some twitch streams there as well so make sure you guys uh Get out there and support the little guy. We're all trying to get going, trying to get our stuff uh, off the ground here. So we really appreciate all the support. Definitely. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for us here today, you guys. Uh, uh, So as always, my name is Oscar. And I'm Eric. Snipes, Daywalker. Er Erky Snipes, Daywalker. And we have been the Pod Boys Advance. We will see you guys next week. Later. (laughs)